How's it going guys? It is 2.57 a.m. Thursday, July 28th here in Japan, and we have a pass level question for GIT slash path for step one. Nearly identical question shows up on one of the new NBME exams. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. 26-year-old man, three-day history of diarrhea and abdominal cramping, six to eight loose stools daily. Physical examination shows right lower quadrant tenderness. Vitals are within normal limits. Sudan black B and oil red O stains of the stool are positive. Terminal ileum biopsy shows granulomata. Which of the following is the most likely explanation for these findings? So clearly this guy has Crohn's disease, okay? As I said, past level. Now you can think that this is obscure. Sudan black B and oil red O stains. These are for fat. Um, I've seen these on NBME exams, okay? So you just need to be aware that, yes, these stain fat. Not difficult to infer with the oil red O name here, uh, but Sudan Black B, I've seen this alone in the question. Terminal ileum biopsy shows granulomata, okay? I mean, you need to know Crohn disease has non-caseating granulomas when you do a biopsy. And the six to eight loose stools daily that with the cramping, that points towards steatorrhea, the right lower quadrant pain, that's terminal ileitis. Crohn disease classically affects the uh, terminal ileum, of course, from uh, mouth to anus. So let's just whip through the answer choices here. Choice A, bacterial overgrowth, wrong fucking answer, okay? Vague descriptor, but this refers to blind loop syndrome for 2CK surgery. Uh, when a patient has major GI surgery, such as a Bill Roth II procedure, I've seen that on the questions, as well as a Rowan Y, which is just another fancy name for gastric bypass, patient goes on to get diarrhea following one of those aforementioned major procedures. They want bacterial ov overgrowth, refers to blind loop syndrome. For whatever fucking reason, you get a, a part of the small bowel where there is a gap in the peristalsis. You literally have a part of the lumen that's blind to the peristalsis. So you get a stasis that occurs within the small bowel and you get bacterial overgrowth. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, brush border disaccharides deficiency, very buzzy for lactose intolerance, lactase deficiency. Uh, obviously, this is going to be a patient who has loose stools. You can do a hydrogen breath test. You can do a stool pH to diagnose. The high yieldness for this revolves around contrasting it with celiac disease. Obviously, separate lengthy discussion, you should be aware of celiac disease presents oftentimes the microcytic anemia, that factoid exceedingly high yield, okay? You can get iron deficiency in celiac disease. Regardless, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, wrong answer. Uh, this could refer to cystic fibrosis as well as chronic pancreatitis, uh, such as with alcoholism, okay? So if you have if you have cystic fibrosis, you get inspissated, uh, which are dried up secretions within the lumen, and you cannot secrete those pancreatic enzymes into the small bowel, and you can get steatorrhea. Chronic pancreatitis is just recurrent acute pancreatitis, as I just fucking said, an alcoholic, and that can lead to chronic pancreatitis where you do not have an eleva uh, elevation in pancreatic enzymes, but you have steatorrhea. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, ineffective reabsorption of bile salts is the correct answer. So in Crohn's disease, terminal ileitis, okay? So the terminal ileum is where we get absorption of B12 via intrinsic factor, as well as reabsorption of bile salts, uh, which via enterohepatic circulation return to the liver. You need bile salts for secretion into bile so that bile can help emulsify slash physically break down fat. So if you have decreased enterohepatic circulation of bile salts from the terminal ileum, you're ultimately going to get decreased slash impaired fat absorption in the duodenum, leading to steatorrhea in Crohn's disease. Okay, it's on the NBME exam. This is an important answer you need to be aware of. Last answer here, uh, rapid transit of hyperosmolar chyme refers to dumping syndrome, which is going, which is on 2CK surgery, which can be confused with blind loop syndrome, bacterial overgrowth. If they give you a major procedure, such as the Rowan Y, okay, gastric bypass surgery, and then they say the patient has diarrhea with hypoglycemia, holy shit. Okay, that refers to dumping syndrome for whatever fucking reason. Hyperosmolar chyme with rapid trans transit into the duodenum can precipitate a rapid spike in insulin due to 
uh, glucose dependent insulinotropic peptide, uh, and that can cause hypoglycemia. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.